You know, folks, most of the time I spend my hunting hours up in tree stands or elevated areas, but I find more and more there are a lot of opportunities to hunt off the ground. I know there are a lot of you that are physically challenged or you plain just don't like getting up in the air. You might be a little afraid of altitude. Well, ground hunting can be extremely effective and I might add, very easy to do. Now, there are manufactured blinds that you can use out of netting type material that will conceal you quite well. Although I find that for the most part, a natural blind is the best way to approach a hunting situation. Now, as far as where do you hunt on the ground, typically I look for areas where there's a lot of deer sign up and down well-traveled roads or deer trails. Don't put your stand on the deer trail. Get off some 30, 40, 50 yards, depending on whether you're bow hunting or you're rifle hunting, and then consider the wind. Most areas of the country have predominant winds, whether it be easterlies, westerlies, northerlies, or southerlies, but you have to use the wind. When you're on the ground, you're a lot more susceptible to the animals smelling you. Another very important factor is the use of sunlight. The sun, early and late, can be a blinding factor to the animals. There have been many a time where I've looked a deer right square in the eyes at less than 10 feet, and the deer couldn't see me because he was looking directly into the sun. I tell you, if you give this a try, it's an awful lot of fun. For you bow hunters especially, it's the ultimate challenge. I know bow hunting is tough enough as it is, but to get on the ground and get within bow range of the animals is the ultimate challenge. So next time you're hunting, give a try to ground blind hunting. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results. Are y'all believing that? Oh, gotta catch my breath. Unbelievable. Come down here to hog hunt. Get a hog early. Just, just getting ready. I mean, it's 9.30 now. Just getting ready to go look for the hog. And that nice four point comes by. Now, what I really can't believe is the fact that that deer walked that close. Be honest with you, we had the camera off. We were just getting ready to leave I heard a twig break, looked over there, the cameraman was able to get the camera up, and we did a Mexican standoff. The deer was literally 15, maybe 20 steps away, looking dead at us, had us made, we had taken our mask off, and weren't paying a whole lot of attention. He slips in, and, in, in on us, and look at the results. He took off the first time, as you saw, I missed the first shot. I think I hit a tree as he flopped through the trees, because it gets real thick over here, and I was real concerned that if I let him get away too much further, I wouldn't get a second shot. What he did, he bounded about 35 yards and just stopped with his head behind a tree. And I could see his leg and I could see his tail, but there must be 50 or better small trees about so big between me and the deer. So I was trying to find the best angle to pull off and he dropped right there. I can't believe it. I'll tell you what, just to show you how lucky we are on, on this particular case, walk around here and look at the angle. We've got my cameraman behind me and I'm sitting here on a dove stool with a little bush in front of me to break my silhouette with no mask and look what the deer was seeing. Now, as you can see from the angle the deer had on us, I mean, literally I'm sitting here true at a, at a long distance. In fact, we'll back off here in a minute and you can see from a distance, I'm pretty well camouflaged with this breaking up my silhouette. I still would encourage, especially deer hunting, using your mask and gloves. But for hogs with poor eyesight, which again, we're mainly hog hunting this morning, I didn't feel I needed my mask and gloves at that particular time. But the deer walks right out. I mean, you talk about, I was shaking. I was shaking bad because he'd walk a couple steps, throw his head up. I mean, he knew we were here, but he couldn't quite make us out. And that's a good point about deer's eyesight. A, I don't believe they can see color. Otherwise, he would have made my face and hands out or my rifle. But B, as long as you don't move, you've got pretty good odds of standing the deer off and him getting calm again and going on about his way, which he did. Now, when I threw up on him, he busted me. 
and he took off. I missed my shot, but then got lucky. He stopped to look where the shot came from, and I got my animal. Now, I probably stood out pretty well without my mask and gloves on. As I mentioned before, especially when ground hunting, mask and gloves are very important when it comes to deer hunting. But again, if you're hog hunting, their poor eyesight allows you to get away with not wearing them. Boy, that's a nice little buck. I cannot believe I made a clean kill shot through the trees. In fact, I'm gonna see if we can even see the blind from here. Oh yeah, nice little buck, nice little buck. Got a 12 inch spread, young deer, little four point. Nice, nice healthy animal. But if you would, I want you to look back and, and I challenge you to see if you can see my blind back there or where I was standing. I mean, it's, I still can't believe that I pulled off that shot from there. I mean, that's the angle I shot through and it's only probably 35, 40 yards, but I mean, it's, it's amazing. Every now and then we all get lucky. Oh, I'm excited.